Hello and welcome back to the Credible Dev YouTube channel. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. Before we get started, if you like my content, want to see more of it, make sure you hit the like button on this video. It really helps me out. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're wanting to see more of my content. I really do appreciate it. So today what we're going to be doing is in installing VS Code um, on Manjaro Linux in preparation for a series that I have coming out on .NET programming using C Sharp. We'll be doing a lot of console programming and Visual Studio Code is the perfect environment for that. I have another video on Windows. If you're a Windows user and you wanna know how to do these same steps, be sure to go check out that video. But if you're a Linux user, or more specifically a Manjaro Linux user, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how to get started with VS Code and how to install .NET, the SDK, so that way you can start doing some programming for C Sharp. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is actually install Snap. You may already have Snap installed, but if you don't, you'll want to follow these steps. So the first thing we do is open up a terminal, and then that terminal we're going to type in sudo pacman, which is the package manager for Manjaro and then dash capital S and then snap D and you'll be asked for your password here since we ran the sudo command and if I could type it properly and yes we want to install wait for that to install and once that's finished we'll want to enable it because it's a service so sudo system ctl enable snapd and now we want to start it so sudo systemctl and we'll change enable to start now um, when you install snap packages there can be issues with having access to certain parts of the file system so when when we install vs code we're going to do it with the classic option which is going to allow better file system access more suitable for what we're trying to do so before we do that, we need to do one more step. So we're going to do sudo ln minus s var lib snap d snap and space and then forward slash snap. And that's just going to create a symbolic link. Now we can go ahead and proceed with installing VS Code. So we do that by doing sudo snap install code and like I said we need to use this classic bucket type option we'll wait for that to finish and once we get Visual Studio code installed then we'll need to install the SDK all right now that that's installed there's a few ways that we can run Visual Studio code it will be in your applications here under Visual Studio Code. And you can also from the terminal type code or you can hit space period and that will launch code in the directory that you are currently in. And you can see here it opened it in my main profile directory. Yes, and we'll close this out because we still need to install the SDK. So to install the SDK, the simplest way to do it is through the package manager. So launch your add and remove software. So to install the SDK, we're going to go to search, type in .NET SDK. And we see here from the official repository, we have the version 6 SDK, which is what we want. So go ahead and click on download and apply. And we'll hit choose. Hit apply. Wait for this to download and install. And I'm going to close this terminal window for now. We'll reopen it in a second. We want to verify that .NET installed. So open up a new terminal and type in .NET 
dash dash list SDKs. And here we see that version 6 is installed, which is what we wanted. So now we are ready to get started with Visual Studio Code. So now we'll go ahead and launch it. And let's see, we'll choose an open folder and we will create a new folder called .NET and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to open this folder up and then we're going to want to go to the terminal which is under view and then terminal and then once that terminal has loaded we're going to want to go down here and type .NET new console Dash framework net 6.0 and that will build our project for us and typically yep, there it is typically visual studio code the first time that you do this uh, you're going to get a prompt to install the recommended extensions for c sharp and we'll want to do that so click install and it's a pretty quick install wait for that to finish all right, so that's finished. We can close that and we can go back to our program. And here you can see they've started us out with a Hello World simple application. And uh, we can go ahead and run that down here by typing .NET run and hit enter. And that will run our program. And we can see the Hello World printed out. And now you're ready to get started with uh, C Sharp programming on Manjaro Linux and Visual Studio Code. So like I said, I'll have some future videos. Plan on making a series about C Sharp and .NET programming, starting from the ground up with the uh, variables and types and arrays and things like that. And Visual Studio Code is very well suited for console programming, which is what you're going to be doing in the beginning of learning C Sharp. So stay tuned for those videos. If you want to check those out, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of those videos. And if this video helped you at all, you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit that like button. And thanks again. Hope you have a great day.